Our next guest is an actor, photographer, and documentarian. You know him from his work on The Shy, and now you can see him in his beautiful new film, Farewell Amor. Please welcome Entade Guma Mbaho Mwine. God, yes, I'm so close. <laughs> I want to hear you say it, though. Can I hear you say it? Yes, of course. It's great to see you. Thank you for having me. My name is pronounced Ntare Guma Mbaho Mwine. Oh, so what pretty. What a beautiful Thank name. Beautiful. Absolutely Thank beautiful. You. Welcome to the show. Yes. Thank you for having me. It's so great to be here. Uh, yes, we're excited to have you. Thank you for being with us, Ntare. My wife is just like, she says, do you know how big of a deal this is? <laughs> you really? <laughs> oh, hi. What's her name? Tell your oh, wife hi, hi. said hello. I will. She got, I was going to wear something else. She's like, no, 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 no. That's not going to work. Put this jacket on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's her name? Thanks, so say hi. Asha. Asha. She's a huge Asha. fan. She was hi, Asha. Hi, Asha. Thank you for supporting the reel. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, we're going to get to your movie in a minute. But first, let's talk about family. Your daughter is adorable, and you were actually able to get her a role on the shy. How did that come about? Oh, look at Oh, my gosh. Oh, you- <laughs> that was pure chance. Uh, we had a, like so a, a 5.30 a.m. call one day to shoot, and it was a scene with Ronnie's granddaughter. And so they had hired a, a kid who was about two years old to play the, the role. And, of course, they probably woke the kid up at 4 in the morning for that shoot, and she was just not happening. It was not happening. Uh, and I just said to the director, you know, my, my daughter's the same age. She knows me, so we probably can pull the scene off a lot smoother. Uh, so, you know... They whisked her to set, and that's, lo and behold, she, she wow. ended up being, uh, Ronnie's grandpa, oh. granddaughter. And it's just a beautiful, so full cool. moment because she was born the day before I got the job. Oh, February wow. 13th. Seriously? So we kids that is serendipitous for it, real. Yeah, they say, yes, kids come, kids come bearing gifts, and literally that's what happened. February 13th, she was born. February 14th, in the hospital, I get the call, you got you got the role, the lead role, starring in The wow. Shy. Uh, How about and I was that? Like, wow. <laughs> and now oh, for her to family. literally be ushering out the character at the end was just felt like a, a beautiful full circle moment. That's well, great. speaking of family, your parents are from Uganda, and academia is super important to them. So what was their reaction when you told them that you wanted to be an actor? Ha <laughs> uh, Yeah. <laughs> well, my dad was the first Ugandan to go to Harvard Law School. Uh, and my mom no was pressure there. one of the first Ugandans to, to went to Howard uh, for psychology. Uh, and when I told them that I wanted to go to NYU for graduate acting, they were like, they, they have graduate school for acting. <laughs> like, it was just, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even, it couldn't even fathom it. Um, but they, they quickly rallied around. My dad actually came to sit in on a class uh, in grad school and He'd been helping me up until that point. <laughs> After he saw what we were doing, he was like, you need to figure out how to pay for this on your own if you really love this. So um, they were really supportive, but they were like, you know, you have to stand on your own two feet. And I'm grateful because they, they gave me the, the sort of the support and structure to, to, to persevere in the face of all odds. Well, well, it paid off. Whatever you were doing, it paid off because your movie, Farewell Amour, is getting rave reviews. And so are you for your portrayal of an Angolan immigrant reuniting with his family in New York after being apart for 17 years. Being that you are a first generation American yourself, do you have hope for the future, um, for the future after years of immigrants being demonized here? Oh, well, look at where we're sitting in this moment. The first woman elected to the highest office, vice president, is a daughter of an immigrant. Our first African-American president of the United States of America is a son of an immigrant, first generation. So if we can't be hopeful about that, you know, I don't know what, what else. I mean, we're all immigrants, whether you're first generation, sixth or 10th generation, whatever it is, the only, the only true indigenous people are the Native Americans. So it's, it's just... A delusional thinking to think that you know immigrants are bad because we're all right. all immigrants. That's and right. what else would well you said. like people to take away from the movie? The movie is a, is a classic love story. It's just it, first it shows how it's possible to be in love with two people at the same time, uh, and how difficult it is, and how 
challenging it is to, to sort of reconnect with someone who you've been in a sort of long distance relationship with. This is someone whose family has been separated from for 17 years and they finally reconnect. And in 17 years, you can imagine how much you've changed, how his daughter has changed, his wife has changed. It's about them reconnecting. And I think at this point in time, really, it's a, it's a film that really speaks volumes because it's about finding reconnections, reconnecting with people that you you want to connect with, but there's obstacles with, uh, and letting go and finding a new hope. Yeah. It sounds incredible. And we have a clip of Farewell Amour. So let's take a look. This dance. Where? Here, on this side. We can't do that. Why not? The band's warming up. Shouldn't we wait for them to start the party properly? I'm not stopping. Um, join me. Oh, you are embarrassing yourself. And come rescue me. Huh? We'll be embarrassed together. Tade, thank you so much for hanging out with us and chatting with us. We loved having you. You can watch Farewell Amour, which is available now on streaming platforms and video on demand.